Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this tutorial chapter we are going to learn about Angular 8 unit testing using Jasmine and Karma and the objective of this video is to know what is Jasmine, know what is Karma, create a simple Angular project and execute a sample test using the Angular CLI. Now before going ahead, do you know Angular 8? If you don't, please go to the websites angular.io or my personal favorite codecraft.tv so here you will find good tutorials and good videos which will help you to learn angular 8 since we are working with angular 8 and jasmine and karma that is the unit testing of angular you must know angular then and then you will be able to understand the jasmine and karma framework and how it works now what is jasmine jasmine is an open source testing framework for JavaScript. Jasmine is a behavior driven development or BDD testing framework. A behavior driven development testing framework means that its test cases are written in non technical language that everyone can understand and it focuses more on the behavior of your code rather than the implement. So if your implementation is changing constantly, it will not affect our testing. So BDD is not going to look at how your code is written, what is written in that code. It is going to look at how that code is going to behave and what will be the outcome of that particular code after testing its behavior. And it does not require any other JavaScript framework. So it is quite independent and it is very easy to use because it has easy to read syntax making it easy to understand so if you have written the test cases using the javascript framework jasmine and someone else walks in and looks at it for him it will be very easy to understand what you have written there jasmine supports asynchronous testing so testing ajax request is a crucial part of any javascript framework and jasmine does support the asynchronous testing making it very useful it also has a testable function called spies which allows us to stub any function and track all calls to it and its parameters or arguments we will be using the jasmine framework here in this tutorial and we'll be looking at it in a detail in future videos then is karma karma is an open source test runner for javascript created by angular team so when the angular js was being developed they were struggling with different set of tools for testing so to make their work easy they came up with a tool called karma and karma can be easily integrated into our projects and make it easy to execute even by using your angular cli or by your ide karma is very useful while executing our test on the real browsers and that means any browser so you can execute tests on internet explorer google firefox safari or any other browser along with other devices like phone tablets even on ps3 and karma can be configured with different test frameworks including jasmine mocha qunit in this tutorial chapter we are going to focus more on jasmine and in future videos i'll introduce you to mocha and qunit as well and karma can be configured with continuous integration tools like jenkins travis and semaphore so this will help us to speed up our development and deliver our product quickly now i'm going to create a simple angular project so here i'm going to create a new project using the angular cli command new i'm going to name it angular test so the project is created and i'm going to open this project in visual studio code now i have opened the project now let's go and see what we are going to execute so before going ahead whenever you are creating a project here you will find a app folder is created and with the app folder we have app module and app component.ts along with html and css files now it also has another file called app component spec.ts 
ts now this file will be the actual file where our jasmine code will be residing and when we are generating a new component or a new module or a pipe or a directive or a service a spec file is always generated which will contain the basic code for testing our component service directive pipes now here you can see there is a test suite that is already written for component then there are small test cases which will show us how our app will be tested we will be going into detail for these test suits and their test cases now if i have to run a sample test i'm going to the powershell so i have opened it using the shortcut and here i am going to write ng and test so this will execute the angular cli command which executes the karma and jasmine test cases that are written in the app component.spec.ts and it will have three test cases should it create the app should have a title as angular test code and should render title once our test code is executed it will test this and show us what is successful and what is not tests are running here angular cli is executing the test and building the test material so angular cli has executed the test you can see total 3 and total 3 success here angular cli has executed three test cases and they have been executed successfully now let's see on the browser how it looks so here you can see angular cli has opened a localhost on port 9876 and here you can see the test cases have been executed so should create the app should have the title as angular code and should render the title so these three test cases have been executed successfully and you can also you can see the three specs have been executed that is the three test cases have been executed successfully along with zero failures and it is finished in 1.613 seconds thus thus helping us to execute the test case in very short time so this is how you can run the test on angular cli using jasmine and karma in next video chapter we will see how the karma and jasmine are integrated and how to write the specs test suits and the small unit test cases using the jasp i hope you have understood this video if you have please do like it subscribe it thank you